Like all organisms, fungi need energy to develop and thrive. In the fungus cell, this energy is generated in the mitochondria, the organism's powerhouse. Like a bag inside a bag, the mitochondrion has an outer and inner membrane, with an intermembrane space in between. The internal chamber is known as the matrix. The main players in the respiratory chain are located in the inner membrane. As complex 1 is not involved in the process, we will concentrate on complexes 2, 3 and 4, and two electron shuttles, ubiquinone and cytochrome C. In the mitochondrion, the energy production process starts in the matrix, a soup of enzymes operating in the citric acid cycle. At the point when succinate is converted into fumarate, two high-energy electrons are released and transmitted to the respiratory chain. They pass to complex 2 from where they are brought to complex 3 by ubiquinone. There, a proton is pumped through the inner membrane as each electron is transferred, one at a time, by the cytochrome C shuttle to the last pumping station, complex 4. Here, water molecules generated by oxidation pass back into the matrix and four protons are pumped through the inner membrane. The electron transport creates a gradient of protons from the intermembrane space to the matrix. And through the energy of this gradient, ADP is converted into ATP, the only way to store and provide energy that is readily available to the cell. The challenge is to block the fungal cell's energy production. And we have found the answer. The 4,000-strong research team at Bayer Crop Science has discovered molecules that park exactly in the space dedicated to the ubiquinone shuttle. So the transport of electrons from complex 2 to complex 3 is stopped and since no other route is possible, the energy production chain is also blocked. The cell runs out of ATP energy. The blocking of complex 2 stops the citric acid cycle. The fungus dies.